Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Super AGI, which is an advanced and comprehensive open source framework that is designed to facilitate the development, the deployment, the management, and the execution of autonomous artificial intelligent agents. Now, this is quite similar to Auto GPT as well as Baby AGI, but in certain cases, it's quite more applicable in different use cases as the auto autonomous agents of super agi is able to accomplish a lot of different things that those other platforms are not actually able to accomplish now this framework prioritizes the need and the convenience of developers as well as users by enabling them to swiftly and independently build and operate highly functional autonomous ai agents now in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually get access to this amazing application i'm going to showcase you how you can actually install it locally on your desktop talk a little bit about the tool sets as well as some of the main features which we'll talk about later on as well as how you can actually install it locally on your desktop now before we actually get into the gist of this video i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart we have actually just hit 10k and i i'm speechless guys because this is a goal that i had set a month ago and i didn't even know that i'd reach it within a month i thought it'd, it'd take me like a couple years to actually get to this stage and as a high school or sorry a university student who just graduated focusing on ai who's like i don't even have any background in ai or any sort of knowledge with this type of stuff it's just something that i grew a passion with as i worked with a couple friends to build different applications and through this i've been able to get to this amazing number so it just means so much to me guys i don't even care about the money that is coming from this i just care about helping as well as spreading the good use of artificial intelligence so that you guys can get some sort of value so this is a way that helps me become a better person as well as helps me like basically work on my skills and giving you guys the best content so i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for supporting this channel as well as providing so much feedback and helpful comments to make me improve this channel i'm going to continuously work my hardest to give you guys the best content the best value and i just want to say to the people who have been supporting me in terms of donations it really really means a lot it supports this channel a lot as you guys have been doing so much to actually help this channel out and I appreciate it a lot as whatever I use for the funds that are donated, it goes right back into the channel. Like for this case, I actually use some of these donos to actually help with the APIs usages so that I can actually make videos on different things so that you can actually get a better demonstration of what is happening in the actual background of the actual application. So I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It really, really means a lot. I'm not going to stop guys. I'm going to keep on going. going to make sure that you guys get the best use of AI so that you are up to date of what is happening in that AI world. So before we actually get into the gist of the video, guys, uh, if you guys haven't seen it in my previous videos, it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so. Turn on the notification bell, like this video. If you guys haven't followed the Twitter page, do so if you want to get updated with the latest AI news over here. And with that thought, let's get right into the video. So guys, the primary objective of Super AGI is to provide a seamless environment for developers as well as users to create and deploy your own autonomous AI agent with minimal effort and maximum efficiency. It's actually quite easy and this is something that I'll showcase later on as we deploy this on our local host. By offering a range of powerful tools and resources, we're able to see that you can do a lot of different things with Autonomous Agent. You can use Slack, email, Google, Dolly E to generate different types of emails. You can even generate different types of videos with this application. You can search like web browsers as well as work on different social media platforms to get the best like task that is platformed for the different types of applications that are applicable to the tasks that you give it. So in a way, you can do a lot of different things with the range of powerful tools and resources that are provided with Super AGI. And basically, it aims to streamline the developer's process by empowering developers to focus on building an intelligent agent without getting bogged down by the complex technicalities that are prevalent with different types of applications. In a way, you're able to do these different types of tasks with these applications very easily with the AI agent. Now, one of the key features of Super AGI is to emphasize on autonomous. 
Now, this framework is designed to enable AI agents to operate independently and make decisions based on their own programming and learning capabilities. They can also work simultaneously, which is quite remarkable, as you're able to deploy multiple different agents at the same time to complete a task. Now, this level of autonomy allows developers to create agents that can adapt and respond to various situations, which makes it highly useful and versatile in a wide range of different types of applications. Now, Super AGI also places a strong emphasis on the openness as well as co the collaboration that is associated with the actual application. Now, being an open source framework, it encourages developers to contribute on the, to the ongoing development and the improvements of this basic project. Now, this basically is going to be able to foster a vibrant community where ideas and innovation can be shared. So if you really, really, really want to give your input on building something new with Super AGI, definitely do so by joining the Discord and you'll be able to get more insights on how you can contribute to this application. Now, before we actually get into the gist of what you can actually do with this, let us talk a little bit about some of the main emphasis like features that are provided with Super AGI. The first main feature I want to talk about is the provision, spawn, and deployment of autonomous AI agents. With Super AGI, it simplifies the process of provisioning, spawning, and deploying autonomous AI agents. You as a developer or a user can easily create new agents or work with existing ones to set up their configuration and swiftly deploy them in the demanded, desired environment. Secondly, you're able to extend agent capabilities with the tools we talked about previously. You're able to utilize the frameworks that are providing a wide range of tools to extend the capabilities of the AI agents. These tools basically include machine learning libraries, natural language processing modules, computer vision components, and reinforcement learning algorithms. Now, you as a developer or a user can leverage these tools to enhance the intelligence of the adaptable agents that are deployed. Lastly, I want to talk about running concurrent agents seamlessly this basically is something that we talked about at the start you're able to enable super agi so that it can run concurrent execution of multiple agents which basically allows the application to operate them simultaneously and independently this concurrent feature basically facilitates the efficient handling of complex tasks as well as scenarios that require parallel processing so you're able to utilize different tools to actually help you complete the overall prompt that you gave it initially there's many other features that I want to talk about, but due to the video's length, I can't really emphasize a lot on it. But if you want to talk a little bit more, you can read through some of the main features that are provided on the repo, as well as on their website. You're able to see that they're actually deploying their new GUI, which you can get access of on the web front by entering your email, as well as looking at some of the main features that are they're going to be talking about. You have a multi-modal agent feature. You have the multiple vector database where you can store your data on different types of applications such as Pinecone as well as other vector databases. You have concurrent agents that you can utilize at the same time, optimized token usage so it doesn't use your tokens inefficiently. You have a memory storage as well as a looping detection that gets away from hallucination for the AI agents. And these are some of the many features of a lot more that I didn't really talk about. But if you really want to get a better idea of it, definitely check this website out so you can get a better understanding. And now let's get to the next focus where we talk about the roadmap. This is something that I wanted to emphasize because they're continuously updating their application so it's for the best use case of autonomous AI agents. And this is why I prefer Super AGI over different types of autonomous AI agents that are out there because they've been actively working on integrating different types of LLMs as well as different types of applications so that you can improve the overall application. Something that I wanted to talk about is that they're in the works of supporting GPT for all as well as having Gmail as a tool so that you're able to utilize autonomous AI agents for applications that you can actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is quite remarkable as to what you're able to do. Recently, they have actually integrated Dolly E so that you can generate images, which is quite cool. And this is just to start, guys, as to what they're going to be doing. I've been actually in their Discord and I've been seeing some of the things that they've been working on. So it's quite remarkable as to what they've accomplished. So definitely give this a shot and install. And now let's get to the next focus where we can show you guys how you can actually install it. Firstly, you're going to need Git. This is an application that will help you clone the repository onto your desktop. Secondly, you'll need Python. Uh, thirdly, you'll need Visual Studio Code to edit the actual code and input your API keys. 
And lastly, you will need Docker, which is going to be used to actually run the application on your local host. So once you have this installed, let's get to the next step. Before we go on further, I'm just going to say that I'm going to leave all the links in the description below so that you can easily access them. Now, what you what I want you to do next is go on to the Super AGI GitHub repo. And then once you're on this, you want to click on this green button over here. Copy the actual repo link by clicking this button over here. And now what you want to do next is open up command prompt. Once you have that open up, type git clone, paste the link, click enter. And this will start cloning the repository onto your desktop or your local host. Sorry, not local host, your actual computer. Now, what you want to do next is type in CD Super AGI so that you're in the actual Super AGI folder. Now, what you want to go and do next is you want to go and configure the Super AGI folder. So, and by inputting your API keys. So, what you want to do next is open up Visual Studio Code. Once you have this opened up, let me just clear this up. Sorry about that. Now, what you want to do next is open up the folder that you just cloned. And that is Super AGI over here. Select this folder. And what you want to do next is go on this new folder right over. Sorry, I couldn't find it. The config template.yaml. Basically, what you want to do is click rename, take out the template and the actual underscore, click enter after you have removed it. And what you want to do now is input your Pinecone API key so that you can utilize the storage. You can utilize the open API key and I'm going to go into the next step and showcase you where you can actually input these things as well as where you can find it. So guys, now in terms of inputting your Pinecone API key, it's quite free to get your own API key with Pinecone. You just got to register with Pinecone uh, and it's quite fairly easy. You just got to register with your own Gmail account. Once you have that set, you want to go into the API keys copy your value which is right here you can show it i'm gonna delete this so you don't need to tell me but basically go to the values copy their api key go to visual studio code paste your api key over here and then once you have that set you want to go copy the pinecone environment which is right over here copy this paste it right here and once you have that set now you can go on to the open api key make sure that you have your credit card link so that you can utilize the actual API key so this is not completely free so you need to make sure that you have certain tokens set with your API key so create your own API key over here copy this and go back to visual studio code paste it over here once you have that set you can click save now there's different tools that if you want to utilize you would have to input your own API key for example if you want to utilize the google search engine you will need to input your own Google API key. You can search this up on Google and learn how to get it. In this case, I'm not going to showcase you on how you can actually input those keys as I'm just going to show you guys how you can install it and get the best suitable case of this application. So if you want to utilize the email API keys, you would have to input it over here and so forth with the different types of applications. So once you have figured out all of this, you just want to click save, close this. Now, the next thing I want you guys to do is open up the Docker app that you just recently installed. This is the thing that I talked about, like in terms of what you need to install. Once you have it installed, keep this open on the side and we'll get on to the next stage in which we'll copy the prompts to start this whole application up. So what you want to do next is go on to the GitHub repo. Once you have configured the uh, .yaml file, you can go on to the next thing where you type copy this actual uh, prompt over here paste it into this press enter and now it will start running the application and start building the actual application and what it will do it will, it will start opening the application on your local host so once this is set you can copy this over here and then you can go over onto your local host click enter and it should be up in a couple minutes as it finishes installing and finishing the different types of layers to build it on this application so once this is done i'll be right back and once it's loaded we'll get onto the next step which i'll showcase to you the actual gui all right so once it's finished installing you can minimize the prompt uh command prompt sorry and on your local host you can see the gui so on the left hand side you can see you have the different types of agents you can create your own that you can work with you can name it anything give it a description have certain types of goals 
you can utilize a different model. In this case, if you have GPT-4, you can utilize a GPT-4 model. I, in my case, I don't actually have it, so I'm gonna use the 3.5 one. Now, you can do certain types of tools and you can add it on, send email, resend email, do different things, as well as work on different types of collaborative applications that will actually help you with your application or your prompt that you give it. Now, in this case, there's different constraints that you can also give it, which is quite remarkable. You can add different things, have no user assistance, add different things that can help you with your overall task. And this is one of the key remarkable things of what you can do with this application. You have different types of tools over here that you can also play around with. You can read emails, send emails, you can send emails with attachments, append files, delete files, list files, read files, write, <laughs> write files, Google search, Google SERP, human, create gyro issues, edit gyro issues, get gyro projects, and a lot more. You can even customize your own. So this is one of the quite remarkable things of what you can do. And when you also create one, you can also do the same thing by clicking on this button right here. And there's also gonna be a marketplace that is gonna be coming in which you can utilize different types of ap applications or different types of prompts that are already set and already created so that there's an easy use case for you. Now, if you click on the right here, over here, there's supposed to be a settings tab but i don't think it's working at the moment but in this case i'm going to showcase you one thing of how, what you can utilize this with by creating a task and showcasing you what you can actually do by utilizing the different tools so guys what i did is that i gave it a prompt in which i gave it a name world of ai as the agent and i told it that find me write me a script for a youtube ai video so I gave it a couple of restraints, which I showed you before, which is 4,000 word limit, et cetera, et cetera, over here. And what it then does, it utilizes different tools that we talked about on the GitHub repo, as well as utilizing the search engine SERP API key that I gave it. And what it does now is that it will start working towards performing these initial prompt goals that we gave it. It's going to first evaluate what needs to be done, and then it's going to start working towards writing it over here. Now we can see over here, the current time and the date is June 6th, which gives you the current time. It's gonna start working towards solving as well as giving me the answer. Now you can also create simultaneous agents at the same time to run. You can do a new run over here as well as pause it. And you can have the different tools assigned, which you can see over here. There's the first goal, which we talked about. And obviously you can give it another goal and you can also keep on giving different types of steps to help you determine what is happening. And now it's giving me a tool right that is returned and a file written, which is, it's going to give me the outline of what I gave in a text TXT file, and then it will give it to me, which I can download later on. And basically this is easy as that guys, this is quite remarkable as to what they've been able to do. And well now let's go to the conclusion of this video. In summary, Super AGI is a cutting edge open source framework that empowers developers to build, manage, and run highly autonomous and useful AI agents. In this video, I hope you found this quite beneficial and some sort of you got some sort of value out of it, as you can run your own Super AGI agent on your own local desktop. So with that thought, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate appreciate all the love that you guys have been giving me. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so as there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. And make sure you do give the Twitter page a follow if you guys haven't. And with that thought, thank you guys so much for watching. Spread positivity. And with that thought, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, fellas.